So the pressure difference on the lungs is the same as the pressure change from the depth of water. Now recall that the formula for a pressure difference due to a change in height of a fluid is equal to the density of the fluid times the gravitational acceleration times the change in height. Now in this problem, we're looking for how deep he could have been, so we're looking for that height difference. So we algebraically solve this equation for delta H by dividing both sides of the equation by rho G. And that's the equation we'll use. So we'll just plug in the variables that were given to us in the problem. Okay. So the pressure, the maximum pressure that he can withstand is negative 85 millimeters of mercury. So negative 85 millimeters of mercury. Let's convert this into SI units though by converting from millimeters of mercury into newtons per meter squared. And so one millimeter of mercury is equal to 133 newtons per meter squared. And this is being divided by the density of the water, and density of water is about 1 times 10 to the power of 3 or kilograms per cubic meter, multiplied by the gravitational acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Per second squared. Put this into your calculator, and we get a height difference of about negative 1.2 meters. So he could be 1.2 meters underwater before it would start damaging his lungs. That's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.